Welcome back to Sunday Squeaky Clean Adult Films, 1989 Hotel Paradise, the Victoria Paris series. This one is going to be the last installment of the Victoria Paris series. I'm sure we'll see her again. Next Sunday will be something different. This picture, she's just the secretary, but if you're going to be a secretary, you might as well be an amazing, strong woman secretary, Victoria Paris. I like Victoria Paris. I hope you do too. Peter North is the lead of this motion picture. And you know what the director did? He made him do a lot of exposition dumps. How do you feel about that? You're in your jet now, three hours away? I don't mind. Sometimes you gotta push the plot forward. Saying? A Japanese businessman really wants to talk to Mr. North. How do you think that's going to go? This movie was 82 minutes, and now it's 12 minutes. I'm going to talk in front of it. I'm also going to talk in the back of it. And one last thing, this used to be X-rated. Now it's G, three stages of transformation. And we also have not Princess Caroline. We have Princess Buttercup. Wait, what's her name? Princess Stephanie. Princess Stephanie. That's who I was talking about. And boy, is she depressed. She says it twice, out loud. She says it. I'm so depressed. A lot of things are said out loud in this movie. You know that old saying? Tell me, don't show me. I kid, I kid. Rachel Ryan is the standout in this film. I was like, who is this? I jumped on her IMDb. Numerous motion pictures. I've never seen one. There was one from the Angel series. I was like, oh, but it's one of the ones that we did not do from the Angel series. Just like Victoria Paris, we will circle back to Richard Mailer. When we do a little series, when we're done, it doesn't mean we're done. This film has a strong, driving film score. At times, an intrusive film score. In one point, man, this seems like I'm just dogging out the film. I'm not. I liked this. But at one point, we got this music. And then it goes down a little bit. You know, that happens. Someone's about ready to talk. Our, our DB level goes down on our VU. But then, guess what's happening? It goes back up. I've never seen that in a movie before. Dip down for the line and then let's bring it right back up. And then slow fade out. It's like, what? The sine wave must have been... Okay, we have some very cool, amazing optical transitions. I can't show you a lot of them. They are on the cutting room floor, but there are a couple. I like it. Some odd choices. And you know what? It's odd choices that make me drawn toward a movie. Dead serious. Let's check this out. 1989, Hotel Paradise. Lynn, could you give me a cup of coffee and bring in your pad, please? Ah, what a way to start off the month. Going through bills that haven't been paid from last month.
several calls. The linen service called, and they said that we're 60 days overdue. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll call in this afternoon. What else? A Mr. Harita called from Japan, and he said he'd call back a little later. Oh, good. Another Japanese businessman asking for special favors. Next. He wanted me to remind you that we hired a new recreational director. She's starting today, and I scheduled her to start swimming lessons at 11. Huh. Which pool? The indoor pool. Okay. I'll look in on her in a little while. Okay. When does Princess Stephanie arrive? Oh, she arrived about 20 minutes ago. Oh. We'll give her anything she wants. That okay. divorce with the prince was a nasty one. Even though she's going to get a big settlement, uh, if we're good to her, she may become a permanent guest. And that would not hurt our image at all. No. Well, Prince Mahut's father came along with her, but he's leaving shortly. I wonder why he came along. Maybe a fight with the queen, huh? <laughs> well, ours is not to question their customs. Theirs may be different than ours. True. I thought that servant would never leave. Mustafa, in this country, they're not called servants. They're called bellboys. Hmm. He made such a strange face when I handed him the, how do you say it, tip? $100, Mustafa. That's a little steep for a bellboy. That's much in this country? It's about 750 million draco. It's not so much to give a man for carrying such a heavy bag. He brought my purse in and laid it on the floor. Oh. Yes. Listen, you're not angry with me about what happened between, you know, your son and myself. No. No, I'm not angry with you. It, I didn't like the, the arrangement, you know? I, I don't understand. I'm a lot more I understand. Than that. I understand. Tis the custom in my country, and it's a way you're not used to, but... You brought something to my kingdom that was lacking. A character, an aliveness. Yeah. Something missing in my culture. <laughs> Blue eyes and blonde hair. <laughs> I'm kidding, Mustafa. You know, I, I really didn't love your son. You have to know that. Your Highness, what can I do for you? Oh, well, loneliness is a little out of my line. What about your ex-father-in-law? Oh, he's gone. Um, what would you like me to do? Okay, I'll be right up. Lynn, hold all my calls. I gotta check up on the princess. Yeah, I sent that little weasel back to Iran. I'm really happy to be back here in America, I just gotta tell you. Mm -hmm. and his father dropped me off. Left me a tiny sum of money. Just a minute, school's at the door. Come in. The front desk sent me up. I'm the director of recreation here. I'm so depressed. Oh, come on, it can't be that bad. I know just the thing. You know, there's a great salon here. What do they do? Oh, they pamper you like a, like a princess. There's a jacuzzi and a swimming pool. You can play tennis. Are there other people there? Tons. Oh. Do they speak English? Of course. Oh. I'm so depressed. about time. He's been gone for over four hours. Yeah, we had a bite to eat. So, is she satisfied? Quite. Um, did I miss anything? Mr. Harita called again from Japan. And Catering is screaming. He doesn't have enough help. Listen, if Mr. Harita calls again, find me. I wouldn't want to offend the entire Japanese empire. And, um, Get the new rec director to uh, help with the catering. I think she can 
handle anything. Yes, sir. I'm sure it'll be all right. First thing on the job. I'm the director of recreations here. They have a really good staff here. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Uh, but we're stuck now. It's I, okay. Calm I, down. I, it's all right. Come on, sir. It's okay. Hold on. It's all right. Come on. Here. Hold on to me. Come here. Hold on to me. It's okay. Hold on. It's okay. Calm down. Yes, Len. That Mr. Harita called again, but he'll call back. Uh, okay. Um, listen, I've been having trouble with that number eight elevator again. Well, the repairman should be here sometime this afternoon. Oh, God, I hope it doesn't affect the gas. So what are you going to do now? Well, I think I'll just go down to the bar and give me a drink. Maybe I'll meet you down there. Good idea. I need an okay for a shipment of liquor that was delivered to the cocktail lounge. Those oil men really put it away. Hell yes. I wish the entire hotel would do the same. Drink up, everybody. Mr. Harita, I'm very flattered, but the hotel is not for sale. How much? Cash? <laughs> Mr. Harita, we definitely have a basis for talks here. When would you like to meet? You're in your jet now, three hours away? Yes, sir, I'll be here. Will there be anything else? Uh, no, no, no. Wait, Lynn, um, I've got a very important meeting in three and a half hours. Uh, could you stay and help me with some paperwork? Your wish is my command, my lord. I'll pay you overtime, of course. You'll pay all right. Thank you, Mr. Harita. You bought a fine establishment. Stay on and run the hotel for them. Why would they do that? Because uh, I told them you ran the hotel anyway. So you're set, and I'm rich. All right, that was Hotel Paradise, released in 1989. What'd you guys think? Did you like that? I did. I liked it. I know I kidded about. I know I was joking. I was busting chops, exposition dumps, uh, tell me, don't show me, whatever we were cracking wise about. We still like this movie. Peter North does a great job. Mustafa Mahu. I don't know if someone's name is Mustafa Mahu or if those are father and son. They're like kings, a king and a prince. It's Sunday. That only means one thing. Only one thing on earth that that could possibly mean. Church. Wait, 
squeaky clean adult films and church preach this is going to be the last installment in the victoria paris series this one is going to be the last installment in the victoria this one is going to be the last installment of the victoria paris series what's our thing don't subscribe don't like don't share just watch we're bringing that back we started that about seven years ago kind of died down we're bringing it back don't subscribe don't like don't share just watch thanks for watching see you next week actually we'll probably see you before then